Kalima Energy market cap currently around $60 million. We have 72,000 acres of drilling rights in the Montney in British Columbia. Uh, we're going to drill three wells over the northern winter starting in December through to March, we're doing a vertical well, two horizontal wells, and that will establish um, a sort of you know proof of concept of the acreage. We're very fortunate we got in early, starting in 2014, we got in early, we bought cheap. We've got companies that come in next door to us, principally Seguero Resources, private equity backed Canadian firm, have put half a billion dollars into the ground, drilled 62 wells, they have all been successful. They've demonstrated that the area that we are in which is what we predicted would be liquids rich and liquids rich is the key to success in this basin because condensate sells at a premium to WTI. Um, of the 62 wells being successful, the reason they're all successful, it's a pervasive hydrocarbon system. It's an unconventional play. We're effectively drilling into the source rock and layers of siltstone within the source rock. More than 5,000 wells drilled in the, the Montney so far less than 2% have been unsuccessful. When they're unsuccessful, it's usually for mechanical reasons. So look at our market cap today. We have 72,000 acres of ground. We watch the M&A transactions very carefully. One of the reasons we like the Montney, apart from the fabulous rocks, is that there's an active asset market. So you can monetize your assets. And we've watched transactions of land at the early stage of development like ours will be. Last year, the average price was $2,500 an acre. This year, the price has popped to $4,500 an acre. Look at our market cap, 72,000 acres. At the moment, it owes us around $800 an acre. After we raise the funds, it will owe us around $1,000 an acre. So the opportunity for us to transact into the market, which is what we plan to do after we drill and deliver a multiple return on that uh, valuation is quite straightforward. The reason that the asset prices have popped, as Sam has alluded to, is all to do with infrastructure. At the moment, the basin is a victim of its own success. It is so prolific that its production, particularly of gas, has run ahead of the capacity of the pipelines. There is a massive investment going into the basin, into new pipelines, upgrades of existing pipelines, and most importantly, LNG. So the LNG is gonna expose Montney gas molecules to an international market for the first time, other than the lower 48, of course. And it will expose the Montney to international gas pricing. To put it in context, the basin currently produces 7 billion cubic feet a day, the first of the LNG projects, and it is just the first, which is being headed by Shell, is heading towards FID later this year. And that project, when running at full capacity in, as it's designed at the moment, will consume around 5 billion cubic feet of gas a day. The Montney already is the biggest producing basin in Canada. So that plant will produce 28 million tons per annum, 10% of global LNG supply. 10 to 13 days sailing from Asian markets. Um, at Morgan's, I'm sure you're, you're familiar with what happened to asset prices in Queensland when Gladstone got sanctioned. That's what we're starting to see. I don't think it'll be as extreme as it was in Queensland because the Montney is a well-developed market. But that's why with the progress with LNG and all the other infrastructure going on, that's why you've seen asset prices pop up th this year to four and a half thousand dollars from two and a half where it was last year. So it's a very simple proposition. We have 72,000 acres of land. We're going to drill our first wells over the northern winter. We have the analog next door with Sawera, who's already drilled 62. They're right next door. Our well pad is only 14 kilometers from one of their biggest well pads. Um, and we will look to transact to deliver value back to shareholders at some point after having drilled. Hopefully, trading our 72,000 acres into the market where the average is currently $4,500 an acre.